Kay. I'm Donald Bell, Senior Editor for Digital Audio and MP3, and we're taking a first look at Apple's iPod Touch. The Touch is the latest iPod out of all the announced iPods. Like the iPhone, it's a multi-touch screen with icons for the music player, video player, YouTube, Safari web browser, photo browser, and even a new dedicated button for the iTunes Wi-Fi wireless music store. This new music store lets you use the Wi-Fi connection that's on the Touch to browse, download, even preview music from iTunes Music Store. So the iPod Touch comes in 8GB and 16GB capacities at $299 and $399 respectively, which is pretty pricey for an iPod, especially for the capacity that you're getting. It's a 3.5 inch screen with a 480 by 320 video resolution. It presents bright, colorful, pretty crisp video quality. There's really no comparing the form factor and the capabilities of the iPod Touch to the iPod Classic. Really, the iPod Touch is drawing all of its capabilities from the iPhone. It's a little bit thinner than the iPhone, a little bit smaller width-wise as well, but really it's drawing 99% of its features from the features we've already seen in the iPhone. If you already have an iPhone, I can definitely say there's no reason that you would want to buy the iPod Touch. So I'm Donald Bell, and that was the first look at Apple's iPod Touch.